stumbling backwards after I pushed her and she slipped over and cracked her fucking skull open. It was so funny, man. So many people saw it. Episode number 20. Welcome to the Marty and Michael. Welcome to the Marty and Michael. Welcome to the Marty and Michael podcast. Fully, oh, yeah, fully actual, actual podcast. Fully actual podcast. Michael has, is on a bit of a health kick. He's switched from beer to white wine. Far fewer calories. Plus, he needs to drink less liquid to have the same effect of alcohol. I've gained like 12 kilos in three months. So he's taken a step in the right direction there. Too many carbs in beers. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, lots of sugar. Lots of sugar in there. I'll probably just still be gaining weight from this, right? Yep, 100%. So I should maybe just go back to beers? Or maybe just um, try like water or something. We posted a video how to ruin a picnic and I nearly went blind. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, would the, what was the doctor's uh, diagnosis of it? I forget the word, but there's something where, where like all the nerves in your face are stunned. They're stunned. And so now the, my teeth are still numb. I push like here on my cheek and my upper lip tingles. And like, yeah, I'm still a bit blurry out of my left eye. Shit, dude. Yeah. I was there. And we were looking back at on Jackson's vlog, the edit today, when I was over, and I'm just pissing myself. <laughs> yeah, it was a good hit. Our friend James, we, we brought our friend James along because he's got, like, the fucking biggest arm I've ever seen out of any man ever. Like, we've had, we've had things hurled at us from ex-professional cricket players, from really athletic types. No one has an arm like that man. And he threw a large, thick, juicy apple straight at me. Out of date, though. Yeah, all of the food was. Even the moe was out of date. As I turned, my eye—I didn't have even time to blink. It hit my open eye. <laughs> you were laughing at me because I just got hit in the throat. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was pretty funny, and then boom, blind <laughs> for like thirty seconds. Nothing but blackness. And then just Ooh. excruciating pain. I couldn't open my eyes. Couldn't look right to left. And so I just took myself to the hospital the next day and to check if there was any permanent damage. And there's no permanent damage, so thank God. But yeah, it shows that you can get hit in the apple with an eye and you're fine. But there, I will might have some numbness for months. Did he say up to six? Up to six months. Wow. So, so that's it's like doing really good cocaine. Yeah, all exactly. The time. Like, and I can't blow my nose either. Every time I get a blow out of my nose, it still hurts under my eye. So strange. Is there a way if you blew your nose, it'd pop out? Oh, I think so. I can feel it moving under my eye. Oh. 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 So that's what's happened. That's what's happened. We're filming two podcasts tonight. Mm. So if you're watching this in two weeks' time, you're like, what the fuck? They're still wearing the same shit. That's why. Because we're going to La. We're going to La in America. Oh, yeah. We're going to La in, on the 29th of this month, so we need to film some podcasts so there's podcasts coming out willy-nilly while we're away. We don't want anyone to miss out. And it's so important, so important that every week we talk. It's so important it's everyone fully, hears us talk. It's fully actual. <sighs> important. It's fully actually important. Oh, I did a weird thing then. I went, mm, and I felt a line of tingle go up my face. Fuck. Didn't he say if it's if it's still blurry by Monday... You've got to go see a doctor, to doctor again. It's definitely a lot better. And I can, oh, I can look around without m- nearly any pain. So I survived. Easy. Nothing. James is a pussy. Should have thrown harder. Yeah, wow. <laughs> We're fucking going to La. We're going with Jackson. Well, he'll already be there. He's going to do that um, athletics, influencer athletics thing. Yeah, Logan Paul's hosting that. <laughs> yeah, true <laughs> that. And we're going to hopefully film with a bunch of fucking fuckers over there. We don't know who yet. Maybe Raka. Maybe Jackson and Chris. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. But yeah, that's why we're going to film. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks before we fucking get out of here, brother. (laughs) So much science to do. Today's date is the 16th of the 7th, 2019. And on this day in 1945, the first test detonation of an atomic bomb Trinity site, Alamogordo, New Mexico, as part of the U.S. Manhattan Project. There you go. <laughs> so the first atomic bomb went off today. It's a celebration. 
It's a good day. In 1969, <laughs> <laughs> Apollo 11 launched into space carrying the first men to land on the moon and also three men were the first ever to get fake uh, boobs in 1969. Three other men, not astronauts. Three random men got first to get fake boobs. They did it together. So that was, um, that was 40 years ago today that happened. Wow, there you go. Wow. First fake boobs for men. <laughs> And the moon landing, that's impressive too, 40 years ago today. No, they didn't land there today, they fucked off today. They mm-hmm. fucking yeah. fucked off. Our fun fact for the day, in ancient Egypt, one pharaoh would lather his slaves in honey to keep bugs away from him. So the pharaoh was like, fuck, there's heaps of flies on me, cover those dogs in honey, and then all the flies went to them. That's fucked. That's not smart. Yeah, it's smart. That's and smart. He's set, because they wouldn't, yeah... Well, it's, if it works on humans, why don't you just put it on like a tree or a rock? Yeah, true. But it would be pretty funny to see. Plus, it's not as funny. Yeah. It it's would not... be funny to see your slaves screaming in agony. Mm. And then also working whilst covered in honey. Why you eat grapes? Man, they must have had a lot of honey to burn back then. Yeah, there was heaps of bees. Now, now there's not so many. There's no, now there's only like 15 left. I saw like four outside, eh? Yeah, they hang around like Man, one they're third fucking hangs out around there, eh? They're fucking having chats, mad chats out there, cunt. Ever since that bee video they're where we... buzzing around and shit, We cunt, helped a, a farmer yeah. create more beehives. Yeah, they must fucking remember us, cunt, eh? They're full outside having mm. a fucking mad chats, cunt. Mm. I fucking heard the cunts talking. They were buzzing about. Fuck me, man. I can't fucking believe it, cunt. There's fucking four bees outside. I said that. Yeah, you, did. you were saying that, that before. Walking around inside because I couldn't fucking believe it. Can't yeah, I? you were like, what's that buzzing <laughs> sound? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, can't. Famous birthdays. Comedian Will Ferrell turns 51. Happy birthday, bro. We'll be seeing you we'll be in see- LA we'll be soon. We'll fucking seeing you soon, brother. He watches every single podcast, Will Ferrell. Happy birthday, man. We'll see you at the cafe. The cafe on the boulevard. Gareth Bale, famous Real Madrid footballer, turns 29. Don't know who the fuck that is. Gareth, fuck off. <laughs> actor, actor, actor Corey Feldman turns 47. I hope we get that old. Who the fuck's Corey Feldman? He was in, he was in that The movie. Lost Boys. Yeah. Oh, I was right. Apparently came out with the LA... PD. Pedophiles and shit. And he got felt up as a kid, like us. Yes, Corey Feldman. A, a we'll be fellow, seeing you in LA too. A fellow child fingerer. No, he didn't a finger the. Oh, yeah, he consumed. Fingered. He yeah. consumed the fingers. Yeah, yeah. He was a finger consumer. Or a thumb. On moving right along to segment number two, which has been renamed. <laughs> oh, well, oh, manic laughter in that. And basically, in this segment, we just answer fan questions. First questions from Timothy underscore Miles underscore. What is worse, Marty's eye or Michael's MS? Um, well, I think my eye will heal, but unfortunately, Michael's MS will progressively get worse until he can no longer move and soiling himself and a quick death. Yeah, well, no, it'll be a slow death. Yeah. At least yours is, yours is worse at the moment. Mine will be worse. In the future. Next question is from Jake underscore Ben Yard. And he's asked, how many cows have you slept with? Zero for me. Everyone always wants to know about the cow. No, everyone just, it's, I thought it was a normal thing. Oh, look off the top of my head. Maybe, maybe eight or nine. I'm not sure. There's been a lot of wild nights out there. Sometimes I just stalk them and I don't end up having sex. But sometimes I'll just be in a paddock. <laughs> you just have a random king hit and run? Yeah, sometimes I'll just stalk them and li- I just like to see them scared sometimes. I'll corner them in farms on near Toowoomba and Gundawindi. Out near Gundawindi, there's a couple of big cow paddocks. I'll pull the car up and get in the paddock, get down the paddock and in the pitch of night and just fucking corner them. I'll herd them all into a corner where the fences meet and I'll just be screaming and laughing and jumping up and down and waving my arms around and they all get real scared and spooked but they can't get out of the corner because I'm just protecting it so well. I'll do that for a couple of hours and then go home. So that's not fucking them. Or the nine ones that you fucked, have you killed or just bashed or some you've just had sex with? Well, a majority of them are dead, but look, I don't <laughs> st- stick around. Some of them are just unconscious. They could have died. They could have made a full recovery for all I know. Some you don't know. It's like, it's a 50-50. They could be dead or they could. I'm, I'm not a vet, okay? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're alive when I leave. 
<laughs> I know that some are dead because I've returned later. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And they're swollen. Their corpses are swollen with bacteria. <laughs> Then you have one last go. <laughs> <laughs> fucked animal. Dogs and cows are the most commonly fucked animal. Wow. You hear that, Bosley? Yeah, you're looking over here with your tight little ass. <laughs> <laughs> he does yeah. look nervous, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like he's yeah, he's blushing. He looks like a girl holding her skirt down. His ass is showing and he's turned back. Yeah. Boz, you want to get fucked, Bozzy, huh? <laughs> you want to get fucked to well, normal? at least we know that you're, like, a little bit normal if you're not the only one. F- like, cows are pretty 100- normal to fuck. 100% it's normal. The big animals, they barely feel my dick in them. It's the blows to the head that fucks them. <laughs> 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 All right, next question is from Kachi Lemron. It's a fucking weird name. Kachi. Kachi. Kachi Lemron. All right, and they've asked... Oh, wait, this is pretty good because a lot of people talk about this. Do you put tomato sauce in the fridge or in the cupboard? I don't really use tomato sauce. I or use barbecue sauces. sauce. I put them in the fridge just because it's nicer to have with hot food. Yeah, I like I find tomato sauce in the fridge cold, like with hot works well. But it's I have always heard. in the pantry here. Yeah, because that's Lockie's put it there. I would so put strange. it strange. It's so watery and runny like that. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It does. And I, you want it to thicken up a little. Wouldn't bit. it stay like it would keep its uh, and it would keep for longer. Yeah, keep for longer if you put it in the fridge. Yeah, hmm, there you go. In the fridge is the way to go. And that's coming from two esteemed scientists. Yeah, we know our shit. So just try it. If you haven't done it, just try it and then get back to us. You fucking cunt. Next question is from Cockerill James. <laughs> Another interesting name. And he's asked, who does Bosley love the most? Me. He loves me the most, more than anyone in the world, more than anything in the world. We've been through tough times together. We've slept together every single night since his birth, nearly. He's seen things that people shouldn't shouldn't see, and I've seen things and done things to him that people shouldn't see or do. I can't weird him out anymore. So yeah. Sometimes I try and scare him by just pretending like I've just lost my fucking mind. Or you'll have like a strange outburst, yeah, and he'll just fucking look at you like whatever. He it's won't even look at me now. He'll, just... he'll, he'll ignore you. Even if you ask to like, oh, Bosley, he doesn't respond because he knows that you're just trying to annoy him. He'll just sigh and then keep continue trying to sleep. Yeah, so, well, yeah, I've only known him since birth. Yeah, well, no, not as long, but he's lived with me for a while. At one point, he lived with just me. Yeah. Back in the dark days. Next one is from it's underscore corn underscore hub underscore legend. Legend! Does the pressure of social media and hate from haters sometimes bother you guys? Um, The, the unrelenting pressure to make videos gets a little bit like, fuck. But the hate, we don't get hate, really. Yeah, I don't, I've never read a hate comment about us, ever. We used to get a little bit of hate when we started. Yeah, you guys are trying to be like Jackson and Shami, man. Oh, fuck off, you just copycat cunts. You fucking kill yourself, or I'll fucking kill myself, you fucking dog cunts. <laughs> I do, yeah, that I did see that comment. You fucking look like a fuckwit, Marty, you're the Fucked. If I had a mate like that, I'd fucking punch him in the fucking head and stomp him till his heart exploded in his chest, you fucking wankers. Yeah, you did get a fair bit of hate, but you deserve that for fucking with me so much. No, I did not deserve nothing. It's hard to get hate when you're the best. But no, we don't get hate anymore. But yeah, I guess the pressures of constantly making videos is a little bit of a... But it's it's it's, you, it's we, ma- we made this bed and now we lie in it <laughs> diagonally <laughs> in a king bed with pillows everywhere and the finest silk covering grapes. us blankets all over us air conditioned bedroom. We get fed grapes. <clears throat> Next one's from Alex Champy. How do we feel such little pain in our science videos? Well, I think um, we're really tough, manly guys, and. Um, like pain's just like fucking not much to us, eh? Like fucking, yeah. Pain, just people who cry and shit, are weak dogs. How like out weak of ten, dogs. how much? Like I guess you're scared because you you thought you were gonna lose your eye, but out of ten, how much did it really hurt? The fucking well, impact? My, at the beginning, it, my face went numb. It was a lot of like seven out of ten for a really long period of time after, which sucked. But no, it was no, there was no. 
even with like a hit with like a golf ball, I think we've said this in previous podcasts, you'll get hit with a golf part ball and it's like a six to seven out of 10 and then two minutes later, you're sweet and ready to get hit again. But that's for us though. Like we're actually very tough, burly men and nothing really phases us. We don't cry. We're just really strong, tough men. And I think that's just after years of getting just fucking fucked up and just fucking hitting shit like we've just built a big tolerance to pain cunt like i could fucking pop a kid out tonight and be sweet i could fucking go through the pain of childbirth oh it hurts so much shut up i'd yeah after like half an hour after having no i reckon 20 minutes after having the kid i'd be up ready to go fucking i'd do it again i'd do it again yeah yeah you could yeah fucking hell yeah. simple so to answer your question it's just where we've built a tolerance to pain only because we've been in so much pain there's always if you're in a bit of pain you always i always just think oh i've been in much worse pain than this and then it's not so bad i think it's a very psychological perspective Dad, it's perspective we were hit finger we hit his children thumb hard all right that is the end of the fan question which brings us on to our next segment, which has been renamed this week. Spark a piss! Spark a piss! <laughs> oh, God. And basically, this is a so segment. So loud. So loud in my headphones, then. Where we just tell an old story. An old war story. When we. Back in war, or just from our childhood, or back from the days when we were younger. And crazier and wild and we tell you so and then you know more about us <laughs> yeah and you learn from them because this we shouldn't oh this one yeah i'm sort of proud of this a lot of these stories are not um the one in the next podcast we're not really proud of this one's not that bad Look, i'm proud of all of them these we don't tell you these stories to go out and replicate them and do them again we tell you this so that you don't have to learn from our mistakes do not do them again yeah especially chill kids don't do them yeah if you're over 18 though bang have a go or, or don't the choice is yours fuck where do we begin should we do the so this one's this sort of the scene is party tricks <laughs> so everyone has party tricks michael has a lot michael has a lot of unique party tricks and they're not really tricks they're more just shocking things that make everyone say what the fuck is wrong with that fucking long-haired fucking sick cunt meth looking fucking dog piece of shit in the fucking corner he's gone piss himself it's talking to him (laughs) that's usually the reaction of the things that michael does so i went through like a stage where i just sort of pissed myself at parties while i was talking to people but there was one time in particular and I do this because sometimes it's hard at parties to get out of conversations with fucking losers talking about boring shit. Mm. And like, you don't want to be an asshole and be rude and go, oh, dude, you're fucking boring me. Mm. So you have to continue talking to them. And next minute, it's the end of the night and you fucking haven't had fun. It's very true. We've all been in similar situations. Don't say you haven't because I know you have. So there was this one time we're at our teacher's 40th. Because we used to hang out with our school teachers. Well, our tennis coach, not really this. Oh, we didn't hang out in the excellence, excellence program. No big deal. So one time we're at his 40th, and this is probably when we're in about 19, and there was this American dude that wouldn't shut up about NFL. Firstly, I don't like NFL or most sport, so it's hard for me to connect with him. But he was so ignorant to him just fucking going on about it that I didn't like it, that he just kept talking and talking and talking. As he was talking to Michael, Michael, without saying a word and standing next to our old coach, just started urinating his jeans and just standing there. And then the guy, after Michael's maintaining eye contact, not mentioning that he's pissing himself, you the guy lo- finally looks down as he sees a puddle forming at Michael's feet and just without saying a word, just stops talking and walked away. Turned away, walked away. Uh, that's a, a strange Done. reaction. I, I, I think you think someone, that, have you pissed yourself? Yeah, I, w- I would be like, dude, dude, are you fucking pissing yourself? I would think that there's some medical I, I'd be like really impressed and want to keep talking to that person. But like, yeah, he just straight away turns around, walks away, and then I was free. 
of NFL. And those are the types of party tricks that Michael has. And one stands out from when we were all over... When we were, we were having a little... What's that noise? Oh, that's that fucking dog. Mm, Hercules, man. <sighs> I hate that dog. God, I'd love to fucking twist its head off. Anyway, we're on our... Uh, now, board- this is a one-off party. I haven't done this since. I have done it for a video, but it wasn't... Done similar. Yeah. This is this is just Michael's type of party tricks. So, we were all on a boys' holiday in Europe. We got there before Michael did. A week about, earlier. Yeah, so Michael... So, we'd already been partying for a week. We're in London... And Michael's expecting everyone to be like all high energy and real fucking buzzing that he's rocked up, but we've just, we've already been drinking for a week, so we're all fucked. So like I expected, like up. a like just everyone clapping as I came down the escalator. Like Michael's here, yes. It's, I, was, yeah, I was at some it's time to step it up, and we're gonna go even harder. I was at some girl's place and only got back to the hostel later, and everyone was real low energy and hungover and fucked. And then to try and um, inspire so us. So I, I walked into the fucking share room. Everyone's in their bunk beds. Hostel. Half of them. Yeah, hostel room. Everyone's in their bunk beds. And I didn't know half of the people in there. There's probably four of us. You weren't there. Four of us that were just like passed out of sleep. And I was so down. It was 7 a.m. But my first day there, I wanted to get straight to the bar, which was downstairs. It was connected to the hostel 24 hour. God bless you, England. And then they were, like everyone's asleep. And we so. were all fucked and tired and Michael's trying to motivate us to, to drink with him. So Michael says, if I eat my shit, will you come down and drink with me? And we're all sort of entertaining him like, yeah, yeah, man, I guess so. Like I remember Dave Winter, or David, his name is, David's head just popped up straight away and goes, yep. <laughs> and I was like, all right. <laughs> It's on. And then, you know, there's strangers who'd never met Michael in that room as well. And Michael then proceeded to just take a one shit in his hand, sure. cupped his hand, held it <laughs> under his ass, laid one thick nugget <laughs> on his hand, and then held it up to his face. And by the, at this stage, this whole entire room had circled him and was just staring at it. Some people were not happy, hey? So, yeah, a lot of people were disgusted. And fair enough, it smelled so fucked. It's in the <laughs> middle of the, the bedroom. People <laughs> <laughs> were paying to stay for a at night. At 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and then Michael proceeded to take a delicate bite out of a, a big chunk of shit, out of his own shit. Oh, I was nearly gagging just thinking about it. Yeah, it was rough. It wasn't like it's not cool, but it's not not cool. Yeah, it's in the middle there somewhere. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> it's not loser and it's not cool. It's normal. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then yeah, he took a big bite out of his own shit, and then slapped the rest in the bin, and then off we went <laughs> and got fucking smashed for the next three months. <laughs> yeah, it was a big three months. But yeah, I got everyone, all my friends, down to the bar at seven a.m. and God, it was fun. Fuck, I missed that. That that trip was amazing. Yeah, it took a lot of years off our life. I think we were gone for 100 days, and I think we counted. We were only sober for about 10 of them. I wasn't sober one. Oh, oh wait. No. At your grandma's, I was a bit. So, if you have a um party trick, or if you want a, a bit of attention at a party, piss yourself, or eat some of your own shit, because it's guaranteed to work. It's tried and tested, done science. It's done here. We done it first. Can't, it fucking works, brother. Hmm. You want a bit of attention? Yeah, yeah. If you want to get your friends up early in the morning to drink with you, tell them you're going to eat your shit. If you want to get rid of a fucking person that's annoying you, piss yourself. Truly valuable lessons. Good information to take away. Hmm. All right, that is the end of story time for this week. (laughs) (laughs) Which, of course, brings us to segment four, which has been renamed. Oh, fuck. I'm getting ready with my headphones. It's going to be so loud. Oh, man, we got to turn my headphones down on those parts. Or maybe we should just get fucking Matt to rename it something normal. Matt from Wholesome. Matthew Brown from Wholesome. <laughs> I love the way you say Wholesome. Wholesome concreting. All right, so uh, this segment, which I read out, I'm not going to read the title again because it hurts the old vocal cords, <laughs> is basically where we just read news stories <clears throat> and then we comment on the fucking things. Usually they're fucking weird. All right? First news stories from Complex. Police caution against flushing drugs due to Alabama <laughs> meth gators. The alligators are getting fucked on meth because people are s- fucking. Who the fuck is flushing meth? I guess like if you're scared, you're gonna get caught or like. You what wanna- would you what, in a zoo? People are just flushing their meth. 
Oh, and then, okay. And it goes in the lake and then they get high. Yeah. And then Why the, are they eating plastic bags? Man, a, an alligator or a meth. I would watch that. Yeah, if the, dude. They should have a section of the zoo where they just drug all the animals. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. And then just see what they do. Oh. An alligator on meth or a monkey on dude, acid? Imagine fucking all the monkeys on meth. Or there just, would be some fights. Or just one on meth, one on acid, one on coke, one on MDMA, and just watch them all interact. And then just throw bananas at them as hard as you can. The zoo goers can peg bananas at the drugged monkeys. Oh, that would be fun. I'd feel bad, but... Yeah, of course. Of course God. you would feel bad. Monkeys are basically humans. Apparently, they're going into the Stone Age. Monkeys were seen fishing with spears. And they're using tools. One was seen building a... A, car. Um, a drill. This is true. I think. There's photos of it. There's photos of it here. All right, the next story is from Uppy. Man sits on toilet for 116 hours to set new Guinness record. That is an easy record to break. How long? It's five days. I guess like... Dude, I could... Oh, it's such a commitment. We're such busy scientists. Fuck. Yeah, that's a long science experiment. But fuck, that's doable. What do you get if you fucking win this award? You just get a, your name written in the Guinness Book of Records oh. to say, longest time, sit on a toilet, Michael Brookhouse. Worth it. <laughs> Next time we have a holiday, we should do that. You just oh, fucking... Oh, 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 oh. You Instead just, of going like New Zealand for a week, we just sit on the fucking toilet. All you, all you do is just set a TV up. You, you're sitting... You don't need to go anywhere to shit or piss. And oh, you, just, how, you just sleep on it. It'd be so uncomfortable. Yeah, sleeping would suck, actually. Yeah, I take that back. You'd need, like, pillows to somehow sort of rest on. I reckon you'd get, like, fucking blood clots in your legs or some shit. Like, you don't want to... When you sit on a plane for too long. <laughs> yeah, don't you have to be really fucking, like, fat or unhealthy for that shit? All right, next story is from the Daily Mail. Families no longer feel safe walking around grossy Perth because there are too many meth zombies walking around. Politician claims. Only Queensland's the fucking meth capital. Really? Queensland's the highest rate of crystal meth, like, highest state. Really? I thought it was like fucking New Queensland, South Wales or some shit or Queensland, fucking Victoria. Dude. Fuck yeah, Perth. Well, yeah. Getting grotty with meth zombies walking around. Meth meth people aren't, they don't look like zombies. They wouldn't be moving like a zombie. They'd be moving more like a Erratic. fucking someone could, on meth. Could be like zombies from 28 days later. They move real fast. Yeah. And I guess they sort of look like zombies. Yeah. but But... Yeah, zombies that, like, walk slowly. I saw a comment today on the fucking picnic vid saying, Michael looks like a really good-looking meth addict. <laughs> <laughs> starting oh. to catch on. Um, I haven't been to Perth, and I'm sure this is an over-exaggeration over because it's a Daily Mail. Yeah. And, and because a politician said it. So fuck you, Daily, Ma Daily Mail. And fuck, fuck you, you politician. politicians. And fuck you, Perth. Several injured after man urinates off Berlin Bridge. What? 16 rescue workers responded to the incident triggered by a man urinating off a Berlin Bridge onto a tour boat. Police have filed assault charges against the unknown man. How is that assault? How is that assault? And how do you? How does this like piss into people? Piss onto people, right? Yeah, but like, how does that injure them? Was his his uh, such a thick, heavy stream that it was crippling them? Yeah, be better at like a fucking dodging piss. What would you rather be fucking injured or a bit of piss on you? Bit of piss on you. Stay there. Yeah. Take it. You suck it up and you take it. Fucking idiots. Come on, journalists. He was probably just trying to fucking get people to fuck off. They were annoying we during conversation. Just taking a piss. We've all done. We've all pissed off a bridge. Every single one of you. Yeah. Several. So seven people injured. So they must have been slipping over oh. trying to get away. Just fucking take it. Just stand there and take it. The last story is from NPR, which stands for New, New people, people Resistance. Resistance. And they have said... More than one million people agree to storm Area 51, but the Air Force says, stay at home. Oh, <laughs> if you're going to listen to another podcast other than ours, listen to Joe Rogan talking to Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar. It's so good. It's probably the best one I've ever heard. Aliens are real. Yep. Go listen to the podcast. It's fucking insane. Bob. And this, I reckon, do you reckon this is why this is triggered? 
Yeah, hundred percent. It's up to two point one mil. I saw this morning on Facebook. Yeah, that's it's going it. viral. Joe Rogan's telling everyone not to go. I I don't think two point one million people will show up. I still think you know a few thousand, but a few thousand fucking idiots. Area fifty one's not even where all the bloody aliens are. It's the bit down south that they got to attack. And also, they're gonna get shot. These go dudes have guns, and yeah. even if they get past the dudes with guns, the doors will be locked. They can't just open the door unless they have some sort of explosives. <clears throat> so I don't think that it's a good idea, but do it. I reckon, oh, definitely do, do it. Hundred percent. We'll be there. We're coming to live stream it. We'll do it. We'll be the first in line. Oh wait, maybe we shouldn't say to do it because this will just fucking put us on a watch list. A watch list. FBI watch list. Yeah, don't do it. No, no, do it. And okay. FBI, uh, Marty fuck says you. do it. I say, yeah. Fuck you, FBI. Come come around my joint. You come around. You fucking watch me and my talking on me. Listen on my phone call, bitch. You fuck come around my joint Tuesday night. Bring fucking no one. Can't I fire you, bitch? FBI, fuck off. You watching my shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dad. That's fuck how you dad. handle the FBI. You gotta you gotta let them know you're not scared. Yeah, go Area Fifty One. Can't <laughs> FBI won't do shit. Come on, FBI cunt. I'll drop you, you dogs. <laughs> I'll drop you coming around my joint. You try and fuck my wife. I'll slot ya. I'll slot ya. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's fucking at me, oh, dogs. <laughs> oh, man. Go to Area 51, but you will be shot. <laughs> We're just telling people to go get shot. Unless, unless they follow our previous advice. If a bullet's coming towards you, just fucking... Dodge it, step out of the way. Step out of the way. So, you know, apparently not many people know how to do that. So, you know, go at your own risk, whatever. I, I, I thought it'd be pretty simple. Like, just you, you see a bullet coming, fucking move. Like, don't yeah. try and catch it or some shit. What, like, what are people trying to do? <laughs> yeah, what are they thinking? It's fucking baseball or some Jesus. shit? Jesus, it must just be a reaction, like, to try and catch the bullet with their chest. Oh, fucking face. All right, this brings us to our... Final segment of the evening. Wow. Um, and this segment has, has indeed been renamed. <laughs> it's, uh, it is now called... How's it now? I could deal with that one. And this is just basically a um, prank call. Um, and this week's prank call, I'm going to call... Dominoes, the same dominoes we call every week, and I'm going to try and set up a date with the person I'm ordering from. So I'm going to try and pick them up. I'm going to try and have sex with this person. <laughs> How, like, what? Have you got good pickup lines? Yeah, always. Bro. Practice one on me. Um, what's your tit size, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> got him. That's pretty good. Yeah, got him. Wow. Siri, Siri call, call Dominoes, Zilmia. <laughs> Big. Um, hey, would I just be able to order um four pizzas for a uh, pickup, please? Yeah, what pizza do you want? Um, so for the first one, can I get a barbecue meat lovers, please? Yep. You have a really like manly voice. What's your name? Sorry. What was your name? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't get you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought really manly voice. I just wanted to know your name. <laughs> Um, and can I just get that one on like a uh, thick crust, thanks? Can you hold on a second, please? Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> they're I think they're us. on to us. I think they're, they're on, on to us. <laughs> um, hey, can I just... Um, I was just ordering. I'm not sure. Did, did the other guy tell you uh, what, I, what I wanted? Or... Uh, um, I can help you. What would you like? Um, so I'm just ordering four pizzas um, for pickup, please. Do you know what happened to the other guy at all? As long as I didn't freak him out or something, I was just, I was just asking him what his name was, and uh, I think he freaked out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so sorry, um, I was available to do something, but I didn't know. He just left, and I was like, ah, sorry. Oh damn it. Anyway, um, all right. So the first pizza is just a barbecue meat lovers. Thanks. Um, and for the second pizza, can I just get, um, hey, Sarah, Sarah, what do you want, Sarah? You fucking slut, come here. Hawaiian, and a Hawaiian, please. Can I just get Hawaiian on a thin and crispy? <laughs> yep. What was your name? You have a cute little voice. <laughs> Georgia. Georgia, was it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, I'm Mary, Georgia. Nice to meet you. Um, 
sec and for the third pizza can i just get a um, margarita please that's the one with like just the cheese isn't it is that just the cheese on it sorry what's that is that the margarita is that just the one with the cheese on it uh, yeah, the cheese, and then got tomato on top of it. Um, also, um, Sarah's just told me that um, she wants it delivered now. Is it is it too late to change it to a delivery and not a um, pickup, please? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. And your name? Mary. M a r m a r y. Can you just read what we have already, babe? I'm I'm just trying to get like all these all the girls are like telling me what they want, and I've only got I, I don't know what Sorry, I've told you. Okay, I'll try and speak up a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That's so much better. No, it's all right. Um, so, uh, w- which pizzas have you got so far? Can I just ask who's, yeah. de- dude, who's delivering that? Yeah, we are. No, no, oh, but... Do you want to know who? Yeah. Um, it'll depend on who is in the store when it comes up. Sorry, I can't exactly tell you. Oh, that's okay. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? <laughs> um, I have no idea. <laughs> Um, would you be able to find that out for me? Because it's sort of important. Um, I'd say it's most likely going to be a male. And do you know if it's that guy that was on the phone before? I forget his name. He told me his name, but then he stormed off. In a really sexy way. I don't know what that guy's deal is. I don't think is, but he will. Sorry. <laughs> you don't know? Can, would you mind asking him or maybe just giving me his number or something? I'll ask him if he'll deliver it. Give me one sec. I'll put you on hold. Thank you. Hello, you still there? Yeah. Sorry, he's not. <laughs> oh, damn it. Is he is in the store at all? Do, would you mind just putting him on for like a second? I just want to have a very quick chat to him, if that's okay. Sorry, he's busy. <laughs> oh, damn it. What was his name? I really want to know. Hey, I lo- loved his voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't know who will be delivering that, but yeah. Do you mind telling me his name? Because I might call back tomorrow or something and just see if he wants to go on a date. Can you just ask him if he if he wants to go on a date with me? My name's Mary. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, damn it! Cancel how order. long have they been together yeah. for? I don't know how long they've been together. Being, being That's fucked. I'm cancelling the fucking order if he's got a fucking girlfriend. What a prude cunt! <laughs> Dude, that was <laughs> sickening. Oh, I feel like. My fucking, I don't know, my brain's all dumb. <laughs> oh, yuck. I've gotten dumb off from, oh, just more, I hate you a bit. Yeah. Same. I hate you more than the arrogant Instagrammer. That was like, it's annoying because if it stayed as a guy, it would have been so much easier. Trying Dude, to I reckon we- up a date through a girl, it's not, it's much harder. And once I ch- turned into a girl, I couldn't <laughs> change into a guy. Oh, I'm the- pretty sure you can these days. Yeah, not mid phone call usually. <laughs> <laughs> But, dude, I reckon we're definitely going back to that prank call again because that was fucking... That had me cringing the whole time. That's Jemay from fucking uh, Summer Heights High. Jemay. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? It's a famous comedian. Chris Lilly, guys. Look him up if you're from different country other than Australia. Go and look at Chris Lilly, Summer Heights High, because he is the chick from that show. Matt always gets up and leaves when we're doing the prank call. He's He <laughs> cringes hard in the background. <laughs> Oh, I was cringing hard. That was unbelievably good, though. Fuck. I wish it, that guy stayed on anyway. Dude, we can it. do it again. No, we can't. It. All right, guys. That is the end of episode number 20. We've done 20 weeks straight. That's nearly uh, half a year. Holy shit. Mm. Half a oh, year of doing there. podcasts. Look how much better we are at them now. We're so good at them. Like they're the, This is one of the best podcasts you'll ever hear. I don't know how many podcasts you listen to, but we're definitely up there. We're definitely one of the best podcasts. So don't forget to put it, put it on your folder and put it at school. Show your friends and subscribe to us channels and put a comment in this description of it. We'll see you next week. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're, we're the best. We're the best, 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 whoa!